Saturday was the 2013 Sister Strut event. The event was held to raise awareness about breast cancer and to find out what women can do to take precautions. The Sister Strut event brought over 6,000 people to Forest Park to contribute to the Sea of Pink. To see the community comes together means a lot to breast cancer survivors like Tangia Lever. Everyone, even people you don't know, walk up to you, give you a hug and say keep the strength, keep the faith. It's good to see you out here. It's good to see you walking. So it, it means a lot to me. It makes me feel real warm inside. Teams of survivors and supporters walk together, raising money and awareness for the cause. Race participants like Sharon Khan say that the race is a feel-good moment for her and her team. Take the village, and we're here to support her and everybody else that has breast cancer to ensure that they get the support and the care that they need. The event also had some big name sponsors. St. Louis's Clear Channel president and regional market manager Beth Davis says that the event's name is all about showing support. Well, I think it's the survivors and their families and uh, the people that are strutting for the survivors and for people that have passed. They're strutting for family and aunts and sisters and nieces, mothers. And it's not just the survivors that appreciate this, but it's the entire community that appreciates it. It is a movement. The Fifth Third Bank also sponsored the event. Vice President and Community Development Manager Roy Sutton says that it's essential to share the early message of early on detection and awareness. That we take this message back to the community uh, about what it means to, uh, to participate in this event, uh, but to, get, uh, to take part in uh, making sure they get their, their mammograms on a regular basis, uh, that they listen to the doctor's advice, uh, they don't ignore uh, signals and signs that, that may come about. This year's Sister Strut event raised a total of $18,000 for breast cancer research. For LUTV News, I'm Jessica Thomas.